Okay, everybody, happy new year. This is my new top shelf trailer. It's 14 by 7 with 48 inch sides, 4 foot sides. Comes with a 12,000 pound drop leg with grease zerks. I like that. Comes with an onboard charger. Plug your extension cord in there. It's inside the box. Hydraulics. I opted for the spreader gate, which is 500 more. But you'll have to ask the salesperson what they'll charge you. I don't know. But and the other kit, uh, the other option was a uh, drop kit, heavy, 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 heavy duty ramps, and a spare tire. What I don't like about the spare tire is that you can't see the back of the trailer when you're backing up. If I was you, when you order your trailer, get that tire mounted on the front here. It does fit between the box and the uh, top kit. So that's the bottom of it. It comes with a safety arm when you're up working on a trailer. I don't really care for the wiring. It's pretty sloppy. I don't like it, but I live with it. And uh, all other trailer places in Pennsylvania, they give you the the new the new uh, uh, wiring harness, which is uh, is rated for cold weather. Oh, it's another thing. The channel, the welds, they're hitting here, cutting into the chassis. They're hitting here. They're hitting here. You see it rusting, and it's on the other side. It's the same. I don't really care about that. I can take care of that myself. Okay. It's the inside. Give, giving you a quick review. Oh, that's the charger. It has a fan on it. You can hit the button. It'll tell you how high your battery is. You see, it's a little low now. I got to charge it up again. Uh, it's got a nice chain. It's got heavy-duty channel. Six-inch channel. It's got the hooks for the chain. Big super-duty chain. Nice coupler. They'll derate it for you. If you need it, derate it. 7,000-pound axles. You pull the rubber off and you can grease the axles from there. You don't have to take them off. The trailer will be an advertisement for top shelf trailers. That's another thing you need to understand. So here's the spreader gate. You open it like that. I wish they would have connected the two arms. You know, through here with a pipe. A lot of trailer guys in Pennsylvania, when you build them, that's how they do them. It opens up. And it opens up like that, you see? And it spreads the gravel. But you can adjust the amount of gravel with the chain. Or you can open up the uh, barn doors like this. Barn door style. And this is where the ramps hook onto, heavy duty. They got four uh, D-rings, which a lot of trailer places are putting them on the side here. But... I think that doesn't bother me. Wait, they say that uh, all the they catches the material. It doesn't catch material. I never had a problem with that. Opens up nice and easy. Closes nice and easy. When you swing your door open, there's a chain over here that latches into it and locks it down. Under here, we got heavy duty. Uh, hinges with grease zerks on them. LED lights all the way around in a protective case. Protective cage. Uh, fenders. Super duty. Heavy, heavy, heavy. You can walk on them. You can stand on them. So, it come, uh, stake pockets are standard. LED lights all around. Uh, comes with the uh, breakaway. And uh, that's it. You see the tire? That's the only problem I have with the tire being there. You can't see. Even with the truck with the mirror, I can't see the back of the trailer. So uh, that's my only problem with that. But otherwise, uh, you know, my plan is if this works out, this dumps, no problem. Like they promised me, I will get another one. I don't know if it's going to be a 16-footer 
or what. But total cost for this without the spare tire, the top, the ramps, and the spreading gate, I could have gotten this for 7000 But I wanted, I needed the top. It's heavy duty, by the way. It has grease zerks on it. See? Heavy duty, nice. It comes with a rope that goes in the middle. You can just pull it over the garbage nice and easy. Nice. And it has hooks here, as you can see, to hook the top there when you're not using it. Then when you are using it, you got the hooks there. Those hooks need to be bent in a little bit because you can't get the top on it. So easy. It's not uh, too easy to get on there. Uh, comes with black wheels. Standard, I think it's standard black wheels. Uh, it's heavy duty channel. The only thing I don't like about the channel is they didn't seam seal. They seam seal just the bottoms. And here, they didn't seam seal here. So what's going to happen is, let's see if you can see it. You see the bare metal in there? It's going to rust. So I'm going to seam seal it before any water and salt can get in there. So that's my only problem with that. But it's heavy duty channel. So it will take a long time to rot those out. And that's if you don't wash your trailer. I wash them every time I come from the dump. So uh, that's basically it. My next review will be when I'm dumping trash out of the thing. Shingles. Heavy, heavy, heavy shingles. So uh, I'll let you know then whether I will buy another Top Shelf trailer. But you can't get this trailer in Pennsylvania. Everybody's either way overpriced for a heavy duty trailer, like a PJ trailer. You can get that with a I beam, which I think is way stronger than this, but it's uh, also way more expensive than this. And I don't see what can happen with this. This is this is solid. This is a solid trailer. It's got channel underneath, 16 on center. I believe the the gauge steel is, I think it's 10, 10 gauge. So it's pretty, I mean, things solid. We're driving back from Florida with it and you can't even hear the thing. You know, it's so quiet. I mean, it's brand new. I know that's why you're not going to hear anything, but the thing was so, so quiet, man. All right, so that's my, my pre-review, <laughs> you know, my short review of the trailer. I like it so far. And we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.